All right, so I bought this uh, saw recently, the DeWalt um, Compact Atomic uh, Handheld Reciprocating Saw. The model number is uh, DCS369B. I put a bunch of basic information here on this little whiteboard just to show, like to compare, because when I bought this I was like, wow, it's really tiny compared to their full size reciprocating saws. If you've ever seen like the full size ones are like you know anywhere from a foot and a half to two feet long sometimes and uh, so that it's pretty incredible that they can pack the amount of power um, and other you know factors into such a small package um, I was waiting for something like this personally because I do a ton of pruning in my work and uh, this is perfect for speed pruning fairly large uh, tree limbs and even like brush and trees so I've been using it pretty extensively for two days now about eight hours total I used it today for four hours straight basically with uh, the six amp hour um, 20 volt max battery and as you can see here the it still has one um, like LED worth of power and I don't know exactly what that equates to like I guess technically two amp hours approximately since there's three LEDs but anyway uh, yeah so like you can easily use this thing for four hours straight on a a six amp hour battery which is pretty cool with still some juice left over um, yeah so these are the three like class competing models if, in my opinion um, the DWE 305 is corded which uh, is another um, model of DeWalt's reciprocating saws that I've used personally and I, I really loved that saw it's one of the longer ones. I think it's almost like uh, two feet long, the body from the body to the handle, kind of like a looks like an AK-47 or something, kind of. Um, but yeah, look, take a look at the basic stats, the important facts here. So uh, the big number uh, SPM stands for strokes per minute, and that's literally like how many times per minute the reciprocating blade is going back and forth and in the handheld model it's uh, 2800 on the um, full size uh, 20 volt version uh, the large version of this which is cordless it's 3000 so like only 200 more strokes per minute for that uh, the corded surprisingly even less than the DCS 3880B and that's only you know 2,900 strokes per minute um, the really interesting here though the thing that kinda blew my mind was the um, stroke length which is so not only do you have this going back and forth but you have it going back a specific back and forth a specific distance and for the larger size ones it's one and an eighth inch of of motion for the smaller handheld one, it's only five eighths, so that's actually pretty uh, pretty small. And let, let me just show you this. Actually, this is one of my favorite features of this. It has a, just the most easiest um, blade uh, socket mechanism that I've ever used. You can just easily do it one-handed, which you can't really do with the um, uh, larger models at least the ones that I've used uh, you can also it's multi position which is like the coolest thing ever too which is a sort of a newer innovation that is done thanks to the this much better interface that they put on the blades so you can actually um, put it in upside down effectively to do like uh, up cuts and stuff like that um, yeah, let me just show you this. It's not like you're going to be able to really see it in the camera, but just take a look here. You'll see, actually, I'm going to line up the tip of the blade with the tip of this 129 so you can kind of get an idea of how little it moves. 
So yeah, that's that's five five eighths. Sorry, I was moving it all over the place, so that was a really bad <laughs> comparison. But anyway, the bottom line is like five eighths is a lot less than one and an eighth. However, um, I did notice a difference. I'm not gonna lie. Like it definitely cut slower than one that's one and an eighth stroke length so it's a very real factor but um, at the same time it still cuts really well for having such a short comparative stroke length uh, price point uh, clearly pretty superior in a lot of ways I mean the key factor to me f for this is uh, the size like you can just put this in a small toolbox uh, it's really easy to carry around a lot easier to maneuver you know so a lot of benefits with not all that many drawbacks um, the LED is crazy bright like it actually says in the manual to not look directly into the LED because it can uh, permanently damage your eyes so I found that fascinating it's a very bright LED so it really does a good job of illuminating the workspace um, the trigger, um, the variable speed is incredible. Like I love this feature. Like here, I'll, like let's see. There you go. That's the slowest it can go, and it has a fairly gradual, like several steps of increase because it's brushless. It's all digitally controlled, right? So. Those uh, like steps of, of speed increase are, are regulated digitally rather than with an analog control. So um, yeah, that's really useful, especially with pruning because it helps you like get a good um, start on a branch with, at the slow speed. Also, I found that like starting at a really high speed and then gradually touching it against the branch really helps me to make some nice clean cuts on the more like uh, tenuous pruning um, you get two blades with the tool which honestly like yeah who cares right it's just it's nice to have two blades out of the box I use them both uh, metal and wood um, they're just standard fairly decent blades. They're not crap, but they're not like great either, you know. Um, it also comes with a, a, a like a belt loop thing that you actually have to install yourself. There's just like one little screw in there and then you basically can clamp it on either side of the tool, which is cool. It's bi-directional so you can mount it on either side and that's that's nice if you want to hang it off of your tool belt or whatever. Um, in the manual, it um, it kind of says that you should, uh, if you want extra leverage, you should use the this sort of like section of the tool or the top to um, like create two points of contact for cutting through um, things that are like kind of hard to cut through. And I found um, that I was doing that quite a bit. And uh, because it, it's a smaller tool, it's compact, so you actually kind of find yourself needing to brace it quite a bit due to vibrations or just getting leverage. And once again, that um, smaller stroke length really does come into play there. Um, this thing is kind of cool. The I forgot what they call this, something cleat. But anyway, like you can use this to hang hang the saw like on a 2x4 or a pipe or whatever um, the foot um, I'm not really sure exactly what the specialized use of, of this is I'm sure it has something to do with like uh, construction work or whatever but um, I, I kinda liked it because uh, it, it gives you it gives you some support and leverage to um, sort of like angle and force certain cuts but it also pivots so that you can kind of go in different directions and still get the the leverage of the foot otherwise the pivoting didn't really do anything special for me I never actually 
used it to hang or anything like that, but I suppose I might in the future if the right circumstances arise. Um, so my main problem with this saw, honestly, which was sort of the most predictable thing, which is that because it's small and you have sort of just usually you're using it one-handed or um, even when you're using it with two hands, occasionally what happens is the uh, the blade will seize up and get stuck or wedged in whatever you're cutting and then suddenly you've got um, uh, 2800 um, strokes per minute going directly into your arm and that is not fun it um, it's not like painful or anything I mean I was glad I'm actually glad that it has a 5 8 stroke length because if it had 1 and an 8th I feel like you could probably break something or sprain something because boy that if that just suddenly started jumping back and forth that could really mess up your wrist or your arm or your shoulder but um, I found it like totally manageable I'd say out of four hours of almost non-stop uh, limbing and stuff with this I probably had it lock up on me maybe like four times you know, so like once an hour, and that was mainly due to technique, it wasn't really, like it was all avoidable, I could have easily uh, did a little angle, couple of angle cuts or notching to uh, prevent that from happening, or just always cut down from the top, but I was like doing a lot of underneath cuts, and that of course creates branch leverage which can trap the blade, so yeah, that happened to me a few times, and uh, uh, once it, it doesn't, uh, pull out of your hand or anything so that was good but it's it's more just really kind of unpleasant the intense vibrations because you're still trying to grab onto it and get it out of the the groove and stuff um but yeah that's that's one thing that I I never experienced that ever with um the full size saw that I used mainly because it you're always grabbing it in the back it has kind of like a stirrup grip like a a shovel some shovels have so you've got one hand on the stirrup and then the other hand on the front of the tool where there's usually a big rubber grip and so you've got tons of leverage because you basically got a foot or more in between your hands and so you don't really get those lockups you can kind of just power through whatever you're doing but that's definitely a concern that that this tool will present to anybody um, who uses it uh, but overall, I would say, yeah, not really an issue, and it has a lot of power. Um, it cuts great. Overall, I'm, like, totally happy. Totally happy. It's, uh, in terms of pruning, uh, it increased my productivity maybe, like, by an entire magnitude, I would think. Like, using hand saws in certain situations is difficult, but, um time consuming but with this it's more like you just set it on the limb even one handed the tool's pretty heavy I think it's rated at like three three point one pounds or something by itself when you add a battery that's feels like maybe two pounds so it's like you know all together five five and a half pounds really I think about is how much the whole package weighs for me with this battery um it's a lot of weight so you can just rest it on a limb and it will just go right through um yeah so that's my basic review of this uh, i think in the future you know as battery technology evolves as um electric motor technology evolves both inevitable um we're gonna have more and more tools like this which before were um full size and large unnecessarily large batteries that were unnecessarily large it's all gonna shrink down until you basically got these tiny little um, uh, beautiful things that look kinda like the noisy cricket from uh, uh, men in black and that will be basically all you need to you know do a job which before took some giant bulky ridiculously heavy thing but anyway yeah, I'm glad to Glad to have a compact 
version of a reciprocating saw. It's like incredibly useful for so many things. Um, yeah, so that's that's my initial review of this, and uh, highly recommend. This is not a paid promotion. Nobody nobody gave me any money or asked me to do this. It's my own my own free will and volition here. I just got a Flexvolt um, brushless DeWalt table saw that I'm going to be reviewing in a few weeks because I'm moving and I'm going to have a real shop soon. So I'm sort of buying more of these essential tools that I'm going to need for for upgrading and stuff like that. But anyway, look forward to that review in the future. Uh, thanks for watching. Neotoy out.